Pinch Pipe expected a bit more gratitude for presenting You Don't Know Jack. Binge Pipe, as soon as we get some good content, you'll be glad you're here. Merry Christmas! My stocking had a foot in it. Looking cozy in here. Yeah, let's get going before we make any more friends. And since we've got an audience, how about we make this interesting and add an audience bonus to every question? The better the audience does on a question, the less bonus money goes to the players. But if the audience really whiffs it, that right answer is going to be worth major moolah. All right, here goes nothing. Let's start with Crimea River. Which musical artist's watery name contains the highest percentage of Earth's fresh water? Frank Ocean, Nickel Creek, Rivers Cuomo, or Vanilla Ice? Okay, who chose what? Interesting choice. About 70% of all fresh water on Earth is contained in glaciers, ice caps, and ground ice. So Vanilla Ice has the most fresh water contained in his name. There you have it, folks. Scientific proof that Vanilla Ice is greater than Frank Ocean and Weezer combined. And how'd our lovely audience do? Wow, you'd think a group of people who've chosen to spend their time watching other people play a video game would be smarter. That means I'm dealing out bonus cash for that right answer. We'll see if your luck holds out. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Next, an Odie but a goodie. Based on the average lifespan of cats, when should Garfield have died? 1982, 1988, 1993, or 2000? Okay, let's take a look. Garfield was created in 1978, and house cats live an average of 15 years. With a steady diet of too much lasagna and barely suppressed anger issues, Garfield doesn't seem likely to beat the odds. Why do we do it with three? Here's one I like to call Masters of a Very Small Part of the Universe. And put away your tiny plastic sword, it's time for a dis or dat. I'm going to list off seven names, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it's a character from the original line of He-Man toys or a failed social network launched by Google. Don't think too hard. I'm only giving you a few seconds to decide between He-Man or Google. And you're all doing this together, so focus up. Okay, let's do it. Wave. Most of you uh, skated by on that one.
But you guys, you really boned up that dis or dat. Binge Pipe Customer Retention Protocol has been activated. Sounds like it's screw time. That's right, Cookie. Screwing during a question makes life a little tougher for all the other players in a variety of enjoyable ways. And you'll receive a monetary bonus for anyone who answers incorrectly. Mm-hmm. I couldn't have said it better myself, apparently. Perks you can only get through Binge Pipe. Up next, my love language is my love of language. If you're Dead Sea scrolling through dating profiles, what dating app are you on? E Hebrew, OK Coptic, Arabic. What's this? My friends, Player Two has unleashed the screw. Hey, has this question lost some weight? Okay, what'd you pick? The Dead Sea Scrolls are ancient religious texts written primarily in Hebrew. E-Hebrew, where you can stop by and say shalom to fellow singles. Expert screwing player two, here's your extra cash. Here we have... Remember Third Rock from the Sun? Suppose NBC rebooted Third Rock, but set it on Jupiter instead of Earth. What would be the most appropriate name for the new show? Sixth Rock from the Sun? First, well, what do you know? Yeah, Player Six just screwed everybody. No vowels for you. Hope you like what you picked. Inner planets are the ones before the asteroid belt. Like how this question might be referencing a show that was on before you were born. <laughs> Jupiter is the gas giant closest to our sun. I'll bet gas giant and our sun are phrases often spoken by French Stewart's parents. <laughs> <clears throat> Look, all the questions can't be about memes. Excellent screwing, player six. This is your cash now. <laughs> Round one is history. Where's that beautiful scoreboard? Currently, player four is in the lead. And as a counterpoint, these players are highly valued, but their scores are not. When the going gets tough, the tough gets more screws. And don't forget, round two screws are more powerful, and they'll net you more cash for each player that gets the question wrong. So don't be afraid to use them. The rest of you better answer quick or you'll end up screwed. Oh, and by the way, all the cash in round two is doubled, in case you care about things like that. It's like the first round didn't even matter. <laughs> Six trombones is not a parade. Why not try my gal pal gal? So I watched Wonder Woman again the other day, and it got me thinking. If waiting for Gal Gadot had the same conclusion as waiting for Gadot, what would happen? She'd show up and kill me. She'd show up in a different body. She'd show up a decade late. Oh, look out. <laughs> Player five has unleashed the screw. Let's turn those frowns upside down. Let's see how that shook out. Gal Gano. <laughs> In Samuel Beckett's play, Waiting for Godot, the two main characters, Vladimir and Estragon, spend the entire duration waiting for the eponymous character, but he never shows up. Samuel Beckett used to drive child Andre the Giant to school. Yeah, there's, there's no joke there. I just can't imagine a weirder scenario. Excellent screwing, Player 5. Spend this wisely.
Hey, question. We'd like to initiate a moment of playful interactivity. Would you like a question you know or a question you wish you didn't know? Pick an option on your device now. The choices have been made. You have engaged with the process. Las Bears should mocha de moi. Set. Try this on for size. A question you wish you didn't know. Well, you asked for it. What is one major source of natural vanilla flavoring? Pig butts, beaver butts, duck butts, or... Uh-oh. <laughs> Player one decided to screw. Good luck following the bouncing answer. Check, please. Beaver butts produce castorium, an anal goop that smells like vanilla and is often used in food under the name natural flavoring. Can I offer anyone a beaver butt latte? Light on the anal goop? Nice screw job, player one. Here's that cash. Twas then I learned to heed the winds of air. There is no hiding from... Dan Brown's got Renaissance men in different area codes. Based on international phone numbers, if Leonardo da Vinci had a cell phone, what would be da Vinci's code? 39, 44, 101, or 3? picked what? The game wouldn't be fun if you got everything right. <laughs> Leonardo da Vinci lived in Italy, which has the country code of plus 39. So to call da Vinci, you'd need to dial plus 39, then his number. Now, da Vinci's pin number, that'd be something I'd like to crack. Na, 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 na. This one's called... Octopus Coffee, Queen Elizabeth, or Frankenstein? Octopus Coffee, Queen Elizabeth, or Frankenstein? It's monster. Was a recurring monster in the NBC series Grimm? Octopus Coffee, Queen Elizabeth, or Frankenstein? Okay, who chose what? <laughs> Look, nobody got it. Let's skip to the end. Adeline Shade was a frequently seen witch-like creature on Grimm, played by actress Claire Coffey. <laughs> I watch Grimm every morning. Don't talk to me until I've had my Claire Coffee. Coming up next, I go for the robot sex, but I stay for the heavily telegraphed plot twists. What should HBO title a Westworld spin-off if the producers wanted the title to contain an ordinal direction? Eastworld, Upworld, Southwestworld, or Leftworld? Who got it? The ordinal directions on a compass, also known as the intercardinal directions, are southwest, northwest, northeast, and southeast. And in Southwest World, you can go to all the Arizona Cardinal games you want, and marijuana is mostly legal in some parts of it. Ow. It 
it's time for the attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. The faster you pick a right answer, the more cash you make. And more than one answer can be right. But each time you're wrong, I'm taking some cash away. And be careful. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Weapon of choice. When you see a weapon on screen, pick the person or character famous for wielding. Good luck. Force got it. Congratulations, Player Four. Hey, you feel that? That's what winning feels like. Like one million thread count sheets. As for your competition. You don't know Jack! Jessica, I know I'm from the future, but I love you.